welcome to Fiddlehead Fiddle Lessons. And that little intro melody used a musical device called syncopation. Sounds scientific, right? I believe in science. So we're going to learn about this syncopation thing right now. Easiest way to think about it, it's playing in between the beats. Okay, so the very most basic syncopation rhythm is this. We take the downbeats of one, two, three, four. We have one and two and three and four. And, and those are called offbeats, okay? And that's what syncopation is basically, playing on the offbeats. We're also going to learn some other rhythms that use syncopation um, that are not, that mix downbeats and offbeats or onbeats and offbeats, all right? So now let's practice that really basic thing some more though, okay? So what I want to have you do, set down your fiddle, violin, whatever you want to call it, and your axe. Set down your axe, man. Um, okay, and now what we're going to do is just clap. So sometimes this is actually harder for people, so don't feel bad if this is hard. But what I want to have you do is you can use a metronome to practice this on your own. I'm going to stomp my foot on a tambourine. You can try that too. One, two. Three, four, one, two, three, four. That's it. Let's do it again. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay? If that's easy for you, try to count out loud with me. One and two and three and four. Let's do it again. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and okay if you can do this very basic thing the rest of the lesson is kind of just variations on it but fun fun variations that'll make you want to practice so i recommend you pause and practice that rhythm with clapping right now very cool thanks for doing that now pick up your fiddle again let's play it with something very simple on the fiddle, just an open D string, all right? One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and... Now this may be hard, and a great strategy for when you can't quite get something, you're, you're bowing it, is to pluck it. So here we go. One and two and counting, do it in kind of a whisper. It'll be fun. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and... Is that a little creepy? I don't know. It was fun. I, I, I didn't have that in my lesson plan. I just sort of thought that might be a fun thing to try. You know, you can practice in a million different ways. Try to enjoy it. This is why we're doing music, right? We want to enjoy it. Do something fun. Okay. So, excellent people, excellent. So now, if you can do that, the next step is to integrate left hand fingering. And let's try it on a D major scale. So you first, before doing this, I recommend maybe reviewing a D major scale just with regular like, quarter notes. <laughs> Notice when I played it, the tambourine and the fiddle were exactly synced up. They were together, and now when we do it with syncopation, they will be offset. So I'll count you in like three and four. Three and four and one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight. All right. I should have just counted four over and over again, but I was thinking about three different things at the same time. All right, so that's the basic idea and how to practice it on scales. One little v variation kind of line you can take is to do sharp bow stops like one and two and three and four and, or you can do long bows. One. 
I'm actually not sure which will be easier or harder. So if you do practice that, let me know. It'll help me teach people better. Okay, thank you. Um, so now, let's see. Um, you basically have the idea. You can now practice that on any scale, you know, and, and or just on open strings, or with a chord. If you know chords, you can practice like a D chord. Right? Um, I'm now going to give you another pattern that's built from this, and then we're going to practice that. And just to get, I want to just spur some creativity and ideas with you in creating these patterns. I'm also going to share a whole bunch of syncopated rhythm patterns on fiddlehead.com. And those will come with play along tracks so that, are, that are really fun and they have fun little melodies that you can learn too. All right, but we're going to do a little bit of that right now. And this next pattern is going to take the first thing we did. So the first thing we did was play only on ands. One, and, two, and, three, and, four. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to add beat one, a bow on that as well. So we're going to have one, and, two, Because there's five notes in each cycle, it's going to start down bow, and then the next cycle will start up bow, and it'll keep alternating, okay? If we were to clap that pattern, and maybe it would have been better to clap it first, I don't know, but let's clap it right now. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Again, I have play along tracks that will have just clapping and a beat, and then some that will have fiddle parts as well, so you can get a full practice experience. Okay, so now what we can do is we can take that pattern, play it on each step of a D scale. And so on, I think you get the idea. So you can take any pattern, any variation at all, and practice it on a scale. But as long as it's consistent, then it's good practice. Okay, so meaning if you do the same variation on each step. All right, so the last thing I wanna do is give you a fun little melody with this very rhythm, all right? And it's the melody that I sang in the beginning of the lesson. So it's this. So let me break it down for you first, show it to you fingering very carefully. And with some flow. All right, very good, very good. I don't know why I'm saying very good because I think I'm just imagining you're out there and I'm teaching you, I'm, even though I can't see you, I imagine you're responding because you're all such lovely people. I get so many nice emails saying nice things. So I feel connected to you even though I'm just staring at a camera right now. That's the truth. Okay, so, um, so that little melody is a, uh, well, why don't we just practice it a little bit with a play-along track. One, two, three, fun! Oh, cool, cool, that was fun. We're having fun, right? Okay, so on fiddle, sorry to keep, I'm not really sorry, but there's lots more of that on fiddlehead.com. Exercises that help your technique that are fun. That's kind of the goal. I want you to have a good time, okay? So um, just to sum up this whole lesson and the whole practice approach to syncopation, which could apply really to any rhythms at all. Um, we start with just clapping. 
then you may want to clap and say it and count one and two and three and four and that's hard if it's too hard skip to the next step which is fiddling and doing it one and two and three and four and next step doing uh, maybe chords with that if you know chords next step simple scales Um, and finally, melodies. I made up a few on fiddlehead.com like this. But you can make up your own. I highly encourage you to listen to the listen to music that you hear in your head. If you hear something and you think it's a good idea, don't shoot it down because you're a beginner. Record it and maybe someday you'll make it a song and share it with other people. Make a video. All right, see you soon. Go to fiddlehead.com for a progressive step-by-step -step course outline, color-coded tabs, play-along tracks, sheet music, and much more. Thanks for watching the video clocking. Excellent. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.